Okay, so time to start thinking about your individual research projects for our Sonic World. Uh, and I want to just give a little bit of an introduction, uh, maybe five minutes here to, to kind of introduce the idea and the topic. I know we've talked about it before, but going into this library research day, it's going to be important to kind of be thinking about this and the structure of your individual research project and how it's going to go forward. First of all, the question is, what makes a good individual research project? Because ultimately, that's that's the thing that we need to nail down as we start off this process. Um, and first and foremost, I would say the thing that it, it, that you need to keep in mind is that it should be something you're passionate about. Um, the more passionate you are about the topic, the more you're motivated you are going to be to work on it. So try to find some way to connect it with things that you're interested in. Uh, there's a, as we've seen in this semester, the sound is a really broad topic in a lot of ways that it connects to uh, different disciplines, different topics topics and ideas. Uh, find something related to sound that you're going to be interested in, that you're going to be passionate about, that you're going to want to put a lot of time and energy into it. Um, otherwise, uh, your, your research project is, is in danger of kind of falling flat. Because uh, if you're not passionate about it, uh, why should I be passionate about what you're writing about it? Why should we as a class be passionate looking, listen to you give a presentation on it? Okay. Uh, next up is specificity. Um, and this is something that we're going to kind of have to work on here the first couple weeks as you start to work on drafts as you start to work on your ideas it's probably something we'll be working on even through the first draft of the paper and the first presentation in class getting the topic from a broad initial state say something like iPods okay uh, to something more specific like uh, how college students use their iPods uh, in 2014. Okay, that's certainly a lot more specific. Hopefully, you see the difference in specificity of that, or um, you know, I, I don't know, access to iPods as a as a, because of the cost of them, access to iPods in uh, low income households. Basically, that might be a more specific type topic than just iPods in general. Basically. Um, you might start with something broad in terms of what you're passionate about, but we're going to have to work on over the next couple of weeks getting you down to specificity. So your topic, it's okay if it's broad at first, but keep in mind that we're going to be working on this. And that leads me to my third point is that it, you're going to be evolving and refining these topics over time. So be prepared for that uh, and be open to that. As I'm giving you suggestions as, as your uh, professor and as you're getting feedback from your peers in the class, be open to evolving and refining the project. Don't be too rigid in what your project is about uh, right at the get-go because it's going to take time. That's part and parcel with what research is and uh, does as, as it evolves over time uh, is getting down to more specific topics. Um, in talking about the re actual requirements of the project, uh, just a couple nuts and bolts things. Obviously it needs to be about sound, okay, that's the course topic. Um, you need to use one book, uh, one, uh, excuse me, one text from our book, one of the, the uh, topics that's discussed, one of the readings that you've done uh, from here. Okay, It doesn't necessarily have to be something that your group was assigned. It can be something that you read, heard about from another group and you go back and read it. But you do need to use at least one source from this textbook uh, as a, as, as a, as a resource in writing your paper. Okay, uh, You then need to look up at least three additional resources that you're going to be using from the library. And I say at least because that's the starting point. You can always do more and cut back basically and I would advise you to do that. Um, uh, you've heard me throw out the 1600 words minimum. Okay, That's, that's something you need to keep in mind. Um, and also that you're going to be eventually giving a 10 minute presentation and that needs to be a, high, a structured 10 minute Time, limited uh, presentation in class. Okay, uh, so have those benchmarks in mind, um, and I think the the biggest thing for that is to uh, overproduce and then cut back. You're always going to be a lot happier with the final results if you write more and then cut back or. Uh, develop more of a pre longer presentation and then cut back to the meaty 10 minutes that really gets the point across and drives your point home basically. So um, have that in mind as, as you work on these research uh, projects that you want to overproduce material and then cut from that and cull and keep the best stuff in the actual final product basically. So that should give you kind of an overview and, 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 a, and a start to what these individual research projects are about and hopefully you have a good productive day here with the, uh, Rosie in the library uh, looking for sources.